previously in the last video. You know what, Prussia? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Dad, losers! <laughs> Holy shit! And now, back to the present. Ready? Action! The atmosphere in this part of the hive is so heavy. Not to mention the smell. Oh no. This is scary. I am scared. America, please protect me. Pause cut. America, why are you still naked? You never wrote that I put my clothes back on. You know what? It doesn't matter at this point. Keep rolling. So, you have finally made it to my lair. Yes, we are here, evil Picto Queen. And we're here to stop you. Ugh. You're going to stop me? I doubt that. I may not approve of hitting women, but I'll make an exception for you, Mrs. Picto Queen. We're taking you down. No need to make any exceptions. Germany! <laughs> Rawr! Germany, you're working for the Pictos? No, I am not working for the Pictos. I am one. But... But how the hell did you become one of them? This makes no sense! I am aware. It makes no sense. Anyways, kneel before me. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Anyways, kneel before me. I am the Picto Tampon Queen. Young and sweet, only. God damn it, cut! Chimney Patel! Puto, look at me. I'm a Picto Tampon. No, you're the queen of the Pictos. <laughs> this is serious scene. Don't make stupid jokes about your costume. It's pretty fucking hard not to. We're going to start from your introduction again. Do it right this time, and for God's sake, show some emotion. Also, I need one of you to splash him with some picto blood for effect. It will make him look more menacing. <laughs> huh. I suppose now I'm super absorbent. Like a... Shut up! <laughs> More references to you being a menstrual product! Just read your fucking lines! And action. Rah! I am the Pictolita now! So you're a fucking traitor? Indeed I am. The traitorous Pictonian vibrator! I have several different speed-related settings! <laughs> Ooh! Buddha! <laughs> Sorry, Prussia. Am I supposed to take this seriously? Yes! I'm supposed to take this film seriously. When you have me wearing a gigantic dildo costume made from a piss-soaked mattress you found in the alleyway. Yes! Even if the Saturn costumes are garbage, you can make up for it with something called talent and writing. What's there to save? The fans hate the script anyways. Even if the... Chimney. What do you mean the fans hate the script anyways? Did someone leak the script? Oh, I leaked the script online. What? I couldn't just stand by and let you produce this crap. Are you kidding me? I knew if I just said the script is awful, no one would believe me. The fans would definitely have a critical response if they saw this garbage with their own eyes. So I took pictures of it and posted them on Snapper. Snapper? Oh god, the people on there are brutal. I hate you! I actually legitimately despise you, Buddha! Getting pissy at me won't unleak the script, now will it? You're fucking fired! Leave! 
Oh, thank God, I can finally leave. I have noticed the pattern of everyone leaving in an angry huff. I'd rather not break this pattern. Curses production and everyone in it, yada yada yada, you get the deal. Bye. <laughs> Jeremy is sassy, motherfucker, man. This is fucking great! Just great! You four are the last hope for this production. Thanks to my no good idiot of a brother. I'm sorry, Prussia, but I can't take it here anymore either. What? I'm tired of having to do the stupid baby voice, and I'm tired of having to act like a wimp for this movie. I get we're supposed to be acting, but I feel like this movie is just making me out to be a complete wuss. I'm a strong adult man, and I'm capable of fighting without wetting myself. I'm not a wuss, and I'm not a pushover. And I'm not going to let you boss me around and tell me to be this way. I mean hungry and virtual horse racing. Give me a Uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. I'm leaving this production now, while I still have some of my dignity intact. I would also like to leave. I feel that this production schedule does not allot me enough time to talk to my adoring fans. Good day! I also have something really important to say. Ah. <laughs> That's what you get for making me eat a salad! Ugh. Uh, I'll just go. You can cry by yourself. I'm sorry. Huh? Why are you apologizing to me? Me of all people? I just wanted this thing to work out. I'm just sorry I let you down, I guess. Again, why me? You like him? You did this movie for him? Remember a couple years ago when I fished you out of the trash? Which time are you talking about? The time I filmed the movie audition or the time I did tequila shots at the New Year's party? Movie audition. The one where I said we'd make our own movie instead. Then we bought an expensive camera that didn't really work, and then we didn't have money for costumes or props. Uh, yeah. Then we tried to make it a musical, but then the instrument rental was too expensive. Yeah, I remember that comic strip. And then your neighbors started getting pissed at us for recording a scene in the street, so we had to stop filming altogether? All you're doing is making me depressed about another failed movie production. Well... My point is that I felt bad for not fulfilling that promise. I wanted to make it up to you. Give you a chance to show those skills that I know you have! But it's ruined at this point. Everyone's pissed at me. Nobody is willing to come back, all because of our lack of resources and team workability. So just go. It's over. I'm sorry that it didn't work out. Just reshoot it as a parody. Uh, I'm sorry too. I'll I'll go. Shit, everything is on fire! It's beautiful, isn't it? This looks like a witch hunt! His pulse is really slow and he's unresponsive. Look at the strengths of our crew! Friends, I think we need to call an ambulance! Our revolution will not be stopped! Vive la- I know the strike is important, but Lithuania is really hurt. Maybe we should pause the strike so we can get him to a hospital? Clean! We need to keep the strike going! How else will we help all of our friends get more screen time in the... Ziazista? We can't help our friends if they're dead, France! Are you sure? 
I'm going to take him to my car and drive him to the hospital. I'll promise I'll be back. Okay, but when the hospital gives him a bill for $500,000 and his insurance is refusing to cover the cost, then it won't be pretty. I'm pretty sure in America they repossess organ transplants that aren't paid for, by the way. Oh! Uh, maybe... Maybe we can stay and I'll just give him some painkillers when he wakes up? How sweet of you, Belle. I'm sure you would want us to continue. Remember how determined he was to fix this issue? That's true. I think he wouldn't want our protest to get weaker or anything. Hey, what's with you? Much energy to know, much energy, and not enough things to- Oh, geez, there's not much to do, huh? We haven't done much here besides chanting and making signs. What kind of protest is this? We need to find some way to get our message across more. Right now we're doing nothing but standing around. But what could we do? I believe I can help. Hmm? What the? Hello everyone! I think now is an appropriate time for me to grift, I mean, advertise my products! See, Len, what the heck? What kind of product would you even be capable of selling, you little cockroach? Shut up, old man! You're interrupting my presentation! Anyways, here at Micronation Supply Company, we have a wide assortment of tools, accessories, and other gadgets that can turn any protest into a party! What the f- High quality pitchforks, smoke bombs, scary firecrackers, as well as ammonia and bleach that I cannot, for legal reasons, instruct you to mix in order to destroy your enemies! Right, what? We don't want any of your stupid crap. Now scram. Aw. I guess I have to find another place to incite a riot and profit off of it. Anyways, how did we get Prussia to take us seriously? Yeah, what could we possibly do to vent our frustrations? How could we ever show our anger and rage to this man? Mm. You start a fire. Hey, hey, what the hell? Why did you do that? I spent hours, hours, hours on that mean depiction of Prussia and now you're... Oh, they're looking up. Prussia? Are you okay, buddy? Ah. Sacrifice. 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 This is becoming a cult! No! Sacrifice! Sacrifice! What has this become? It's been nearly two hours. Who are they gonna sacrifice? Welcome to our demonstration, Romano. Uh, listen, I'm not here for the protest. I'm leaving and going back to my hotel room, okay? Ah, uh, are you sure? You showed up at the best part? I'm sure. I just want to go out, take a nap and pretend this movie shit didn't happen. Also, it would be probably important for you to know that Prussia called the movie off. So I guess your demonstration was a success? Wait, really? Yeah, you crushed the man. Oh, well. I should probably tell everyone. Uh-oh. They've gone too far at this point. What was that? Oh dear. What the fuck did you do? Uh, the protesters may or may not have decided to launch an attack on the studio using Thailand's whiskey bottles as Molotov the cocktails. What the fuck would you let them do that? I thought that it would help! You guys are fucking psychotic! You push the man to his damn limit, and then try to fucking kill him? What the hell is wrong with you? Listen, I get really extra when it comes to protests. 
Oh shit, I think he's still inside. Um, sh should we call someone? Oh my god. Oh no. Prussia! Shit, Prussia! Holy fuck, what happened? Prussia? Prussia! Holy shit, are you okay? What kind of fucking question is that, Romano? I need to hurry and get the stupid beam off of him and get the hell out of here! Finally, that fucker that burned us will be burned in turn. No more needing to rip out my hair to fucking cope! No more having to scroll through hundreds of pieces of weird Omegaverse porn of my friends anymore! I think this is a great moment for all of us. We've learned that no matter what you do or where you come from, you can even make a big change if you're ugly. Or if you're fat and don't have a foreskin! <laughs> Yay! Death! Oh my gosh. Throw another Molotov. Sorry, I took so long. The line was crazy and the lady kept demanding they remake her order. What did I miss? <laughs> so he really did come back at the last second with the coffee only to see a fire. The lady at the desk said the room in this ward of the hospital. Room 223. Okay. Oh man, that was something. <gasps> huh, are you visiting the others too? No. Then why are you in this hospital then? Don't tell me you got all the diseases. No reason. On an unrelated note, I have to go pick up some antibiotics and greens. Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> uh. Good. I'm so drink with you, like I promised. <coughs> Don't worry about it. Ephysma is a suitable excuse. Mm. Well, well, obviously Lithuania is one of them. Oh, Ukraine and Latvia. And wait, where's Prussia? Oh, he's the la holy fuck. Okay, yeah. Well, Prussia's the last one. So why did I even walk over to this guy? He's scary, and I don't like him. Hello, Romano. Are you here to see me? I guess. Oh, you're the first person. Thank you. It really means a lot to know that you have a friend who, who cares. Great, now I feel bad. Aww. Oh, Sweden! How's it going? Oh! Hi! Wow, you're not hyperactive anymore. That's a good sign, yeah? I suppose. Well, I feel like I've been been hit by a truck full of angry bees. Without all those radioactive caffeine bombs in your system, you'll feel better in no time, I think. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you happen to know your blood type by any chance? It'd be positive. Why? Do you have two kidneys? Mm. Nope. Lost one of mine in the fencing accident. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, anyways, I got to go. Good luck with the, uh, kidney thing. Holy shit. Hey, Romano. Do you know if Wesha's done in there yet? I want to show Ty some stuff? What, is it going to be some weird creepy porn somebody at you of him? Huh? No, I showed him that last week! 
I actually can't look at that kind of stuff anymore. I really only looked at that weird phantom stuff because I had to do research for my job. Frankly, seeing drawings of all of my friends naked and covered in various bodily fluids on the Thaley was a bit uncomfortable. As a Catholic, I get what you mean. Good luck with the whatever you want to show him. Someone drew him dressed as an elephant! A fully clothed elephant, thank god. Aw, cute! How's he holding up? Oh, uh, he's been better, but I suppose he's been worse? What happened? His illness finally crept up on him. He just suddenly started getting really weak at the protest. Some people at the protest said they watched him slowly walk towards the alleyway, then lay down on the ground and curl up by the dumpster like a dying cat. And that's when Turkey got off of the dumpster and accidentally stepped on him. Now he's officially taken the title of Baltic with the most spinal issues on account of him breaking nearly every vertebrae. I just hope the medically induced coma will work. Oh god, that's terrible. If it makes anything less depressing, Estonia said that he's going to give a lesson on how to acquire the attention of a real human woman to Lithuania once he wakes up. Perhaps a class on getting with girls given by Estonia sounds even more depressing than being in a medically induced coma and suffering from internal bleeding around every major organ, a snapped spine, and a completely non-functioning lymphatic system. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, and look at this one. This picture is of us together, isn't it cute? Yes. Cute. Oh boy. And then this one is an animation of me doing a cute little dance with silly music in the background. Isn't that just so cool? Mm hmm. Ah, hi. Huh? Uh. You're going to see a brother? No. Yes. You go first. I have a feeling you're going to yell at him and I'd rather not have the poor bastard have a negative follow-up to my visit. Huh? Buddha, how kind of you to grace me with your presence after stabbing me in the back! Hey, I was just doing what anybody else would do. You were being an ass. Mm. But I do feel bad that everyone tried to kill you. That was too far. I got you gifts that might make you feel better. Ooh, what did you get me? Are they chocolates? No, just some colorful permanent markers. I thought you'd like to have people sign your cast. Aw, oh, you shouldn't have. Or really, you should have. Because I probably wouldn't have had all my bones broken if you hadn't placed the final straws that broke the camel's back. Whatever. I need to go anyway. There are a lot of insurance-related things I have to deal with now because of that fire. The company we rented that building from is not happy. Hmm. Oh dear, and that's the person come to lecture me. What makes you say that? Everyone has been blaming me completely for all this nonsense. Uh, I can see why. Everyone was underpaid and overworked. We only had a 1.5 million dollar budget, Romano. In movie terms, that's like nothing. And over half of that was just for salaries alone. Also, they were the only people even willing to go through this production. Everyone else I tried to contact refused. I couldn't get more people no matter how much I tried. Uh, so it's only partially your fault? Yes. Well, the more you know. So how are your bones? Surely broken. Ah. Listen, I never actually said thank you for before. Huh? What do you mean? You started up this whole movie production just to fulfill a promise to me. I really appreciate it. Not many people would do that for someone. Hey, it's no problem. 
I'm just sorry that this whole experience got marred by my bitchiness, our lack of resources, and the need to cater to a weird fan base. That happens, no big deal. Anyways, I heard that you got some cool new markers. Mind if I crash in your curse? Go ahead! <laughs> Aww. It's missing something. Oh, <laughs> it's perfect. Aww. Well, this production fell to shambles. <laughs> this was awesome, man. Ooh, blue lobsters! Aw, oh, blue lobsters were at the square that I figured. Face sets and sea jars by Miss Eritafu, mapping by Miss Eritafu. And dang. <laughs> well, left for dad music. <laughs> so, I like the art, and also the writing was so hilarious. I freaking love this. I like how it kind of pokes fun at the fandom and all the- Oh yeah, thank you, beta testers and reader. I'm like, oh my god, this was so fun. This was such a nice game to play through, so thank you. Oh. Grease? Hmm. Oh, no post credit scene. Hmm. <laughs> so, what did you think of it? Grease is the only person who saw it. Mm. Think of what? This is a movie. It's a painted fight sequel. Oh. It was awful. <gasps> what do you mean? Mm. The editing was shoddy and dropped drastically in quality halfway through the movie. The costumes were mediocre at best and clearly full of holes. The blood was in a believable consistency. Pictal movements and body language didn't make me believe they were truly feral aliens. The lighting was constantly too light or too dim. Hey, at least it'll be the next Birdemic. The camera angles were static and then they couldn't- They weren't when they were shaky. The audio sounded like it was coming from a waterlogged camcorder. The sets were awful. The breakaway props had visible break lines so it was obvious when something was a prop. England, Russia, Canada, France, and Italy were chewing the scenery. Germany looked like he didn't even know the camera was rolling. And America's penis was extremely weird looking, so it distracted me. Romano's acting was good, though. Only enjoyable part of the film. <laughs> yeah, Romano, you should be an actor. Fuck yeah. Ah, well at least that was the intention. Woo! And that was shambles. <laughs> that was unexpectedly hilarious and had me laughing a bunch of times. So yeah, I'm going to rate this game like pretty awesomely. It's pretty cool and awesome. Gameplay was mostly like just walking around and talking to people, but I figure this is like a pretty fun story nonetheless, so I loved it. 
the sprites were good and the mapping was nice you know who did the job the art was nice and awesome i can't believe that there were images of J america with that like i don't know that weird sexy face or japan like smoking five cigarettes at once <laughs> that was crazy man so that was shambles and that's it for this game so i'll see you all in the next game bye take care